In Islam, we in the Quran, chapter 112, we have a four line definition of God. Yes. Yeah, if you permit me, I'll share with you. And it's Kul Hu Allah Hu Say, Allah is uniquely one. Yes, yes, God is uniquely one. Allah is uniquely one. And yeah. uh, that's. Uh, uh, oh, that's more than all of the religions. Okay, that is one. The religions are different paths, different parts of God, God to meet the God. Okay. So, you agree God is uniquely one. The second part is God is self sustaining, eternal. Yeah, God is self. Self sustaining, eternal, as in God doesn't need anything from anyone and God will always be there, is eternal. Yes, yes. Yeah? We um, just uh, need direction which provides... Uh, we need the direction, We yes. need direction. It doesn't benefit God if we worship God, but the direction, us worshipping God, us connecting with God benefits yes. us. It yes. doesn't benefit the Creator. Yes, yes. The main thing of all the religions is recite the name of God all the time, every time, then you will meet the God. Okay, do good deeds and uh, not uh, do any kind of bad deed with anyone, don't hurt anyone in any situation, help the poor and... Uh, help everyone in what the... what you're saying I'll be honest with you fundamentally I don't disagree with it we need to be good people yeah, yeah? but before we, we talk about we, action we become good so let me just finish if you wouldn't mind please um, before we dwell on actions belief is important belief is important yes so that's Actually, what I'm trying to clarify yes. our four line definition of God to see if we have the right belief in God yes. so the third part is God doesn't have offspring nor was he born yeah do you agree with that I believe that there is a no shape of God. Okay, so He is supreme. Okay, and then the last one is, and um, there's nothing equal, comparable to God. There's nothing yes, equal there to is God. Nothing equal. Okay, but then you everything, know when you're saying Guru everything. Nanak and these ten yes. gurus yes, yes. are part of God. Yes. Then you're comparing the Creator with the creation. Okay. Yes, everything made from Creator, like God. Okay. Uh, even uh, small to biggest things. Every uh, everything is made by God. Okay. Yes. So, gurus were made by God. Yeah, gurus uh, recite the name. They were like us humans. They recite the name of God. Okay, for centuries, centuries to centuries. Okay, like uh, this is Kali Yuga, Satya Yuga. There are four types of uh, time zones. Kali Yuga, Satya Yuga, Dwapar Treta. They recite the name of uh, God for uh, many times. Likewise. Uh, uh, we say in millions, uh, so that's why they become the part of God. The, and same like that, we can become the part of God by reciting His name and uh, the directions which provided by our So did they become part of God before they died or after they died? No, there is a, no death when we recite the God. Okay, they recite well, the sorry, I can't, God. you need to speak a bit loudly because I can't hear you. Okay. We, if we recite the name of God, okay, till our death, okay. Then we again took birth until we uh, do not uh, complete our uh, meditation, okay, to recite the name of God, uh, to become God, we should just recite the name of God. It's uh, the clear thing of Sikhism. No, I, I appreciate Sorry. that. Yes. I'm just trying to understand uh, the Guru Nanaks that you believe are part of God. Did they become part of God before birth, after birth or during birth? They become the part of God just uh, by reciting the name. Okay, after birth. While they were alive on the earth. Alive on the earth. Okay. What do you mean by part of God? I mean the uh, part of God means by like uh, God is one. Okay. So, uh, so God, uh, God uh, Himself took birth on earth. Okay. Like but that's wait, 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 wait. I mean. God was born. Yeah. God has. Yes. You God. believe God was born? God born. Okay. Everyone. Uh, On earth. Yes, yes. Even in you, in me, everyone around there have uh, God inside them. Okay. We should believe in it. But uh, who again, what, but, in but, Muslim, but, as whoever, Muslims, we don't believe this. Yes. You don't believe. Because we separate six, the Creator six, with the creation. Yes, six believe in this. So yes, yes, yes. They recite the name of God. Okay, all the time, Vahigru, 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 Vahigru. Like you say, Subhan Allah, Subhan Allah, Allah, Allah. Okay, Allah so Akbar, yeah. uh, by doing this, uh, we will uh, uh, just uh, become like God. Like there is a Pankati of Gurbani, Guru Granth Sahib, Jyoti Jyot Rali Sampurantiya Ram. Jyoti Jyot means the Jyot which in uh, 
Jyot means God. Okay, Jyoti Jyot of God. Like we become same. Okay, then we no need to uh, come again on earth if we uh, become same like God. <coughs> so you're why, saying that's why we saying that God is one. Okay, brother. But you know you're saying about the Guru Nanaks. They was reciting the name of God. Yes. To the point that they became part of God. Uh -huh. um, I have but less time, brother. Uh, yeah. But there's two, there's two main things. Like in Islam, you know, when you say God was born, yeah. To us, then that means that when God was being born, it just opens up a kind of worms. Yes, yes. Because when was God born? Before the universe was made, after the universe was made. Being born is like something that human Before beings do. Before everything, there was God. Okay. okay. And be, after everything, there is God. And present, there is God. And all the time, there is God. Okay. But so then, meaning. I need to go, brother. Uh, yeah. uh, we have to do some shopping. Have, have you ever read the Quran, by the way? Uh, no, brother. Yeah. Just very quickly before you go. Um, you're looking for your friend. He's left now. Uh, he lost his phone. Is it? But he knows. I think if you leave now, he's there, yeah? He's standing there. So I'll be very, very quick. Um, so in Islam, we don't believe God was born. We don't believe um, God is within us. Because it sounds nice when you say God is within me and you. But then when you think about it, then how many gods are there? If God is in everyone. Yeah. And God then, is one. Jyot is one. Means God is one. Yeah. That God is supreme. If you, if you, if you let me finish. So then, when you ask that question, it's like, okay, so when we use the bathroom, where is God? So God is within us, but then when we're using the bathroom, God is there as well. God is every time with us. When even is, God, is God in the creation as well? Yeah, in the creation as well, there is God. Yeah, so that's now you're leading into kind of pantheism. So then, does it make sense? So with us, we only worship the Creator, because if you say God is in everything, then technically you can worship everything. Yeah. And we say no, this is this is very bad. Yeah. This is like shit. Just uh, brother, we no need to think a lot, just to recite the name. It's simple. Okay. With the name of God and all the time, every time, even you are in Bible. But you know you're saying this even belief. You are studying. Yes. No, no, brother. in in Islam it's like we see places which are clean and pure and impure. So we wouldn't necessarily recite Quran in the toilet or recite the name of Allah in the bathroom because these are unclean places. We go there, we do our business, we clean ourselves, we come out. Bro, likewise uh, in our mind, <laughs> we can bath our mind by reciting the name of God. If we uh, always recite the name of God, if our mind is clean, so I think that we even not no, no need to clean our body. So, Body cleaning is a part of health, okay? So, for freshness of body, uh, cleaning is important, ba taking bath is important. All the time we should recite the name. Uh, no, no worries uh, if we are clean uh, by body or not, okay? We must clean our mind. mind. Now, you know what you're saying, where does your belief come from? Because I know you're in a rush and what I want to quickly mention to you is with, in Islam, we have a concept of the Quran, which is a perfect unchanged scripture. Do you have anything similar to that in your Sikhism? Uh, perfect. Unchanged scripture from God. So the Quran we believe and we have um, tangible and objective evidence to prove that the Quran has never been changed. It's the same book yeah, in the same language. Yeah, the Quran is same from centuries. Okay. 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 And uh, there is a Dasam Granth also. And there is a Sarbalo Granth Sahib also. So how, how, do you, how, do you, how did you verify that it hasn't been changed? Uh, we have proofs. Uh, you can visit uh, in Maharashtra. Uh, so what, what, what is your proof very quickly? Uh, proof is uh, uh, you can visit uh, Takht Shri Hazur Sahib situated in the dead city of Maharashtra, India. Okay. Uh, there is a Granth uh, which uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji bowed on them. Okay. They gave them their Jyotu, Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Uh, that's the uh, same exact uh, of today's Shri Guru Granth. So how long ago was it reviewed? Likewise, uh, 17, uh, 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 07, 1708, Guru Gobind Singh Ji gave Guru Gadri to Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And uh, from that time till now... So is it, is it a physical we, book? Uh, it's physical, yes. It not come and so where did it originally come from? It's uh, originally come in, uh, in from Hazur Sahib. Okay. And there is where did he get it from? Huh? Guru, Guru's uh, written it. 
So he written it. How long ago did he write it? Was it the first guru? Uh, no, it's tenth guru. Okay. Uh, gurus written all uh, Gurbani by their time by time. So M what was revealed to the first guru? Guru Nanak. Okay. Guru Nanak was the first one. Yeah. But he didn't have a scripture, he didn't have a book. Yeah, he had. He has uh, fifth guru collected all the books of Gurbani and they made a granth. Okay. And tenth guru also collected Gurbani from fifth to tenth gurus. Uh, all the and they made a granth. So how many scriptures do you have? Ten scriptures or five scriptures? Only one. Uh, no. So did they write different chapters, ten chapters in it? No. Five they, chapters? Because I'm, I'm confused a little bit. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. There are 1430 pages in Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. 1430 pages. Okay. And 30, 30 all pages. The, all the Gurus Gurbani, all the Pagat Sahibans Gurbani, even uh, there is a Gurbani of Muslims, really, uh, Muslim persons too, who believe in God. Uh, what does that say? That's quite interesting. Yeah. What does it say there? Like Do you know? Have you read it? They said, they said to recite the name of God all the time. Uh, the main idea is it. Okay. They believe in Hazrat Muhammad Sahib. Okay. So they believe. Yeah, this is what we believe. We believe yes. that. Okay. So brother, I have to go. Okay. No, no, bro. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Alhamdulillah, this was my first. Not my first time, but having a detailed conversation with a Sikh person um, I did struggle to understand in regards to what he was saying in regards to preserving their scripture and how well they've preserved it if the first Guru didn't have a scripture then how did it come um, in Islam as everyone knows we have an old tradition of memorization we have things which were um, handwritten and carbon dated to the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the language he spoke so it would be interesting to see um, really deep, a little bit deeper into his concept with regards to gurus becoming part of God and what's meant by that and God being born. But I think there's a little bit of language barrier as well. Alhamdulillah, may Allah grant him um, hidayat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.